I'm in Phippsburg today and I'm going to be hiking Morse Mountain in the Bates Morse Mountain Conservation Area. There's a big parking area here, so I've parked here. This conservation area is near Popham Beach. Um, that's a state park that is fairly well known. It's got a beautiful sandy beach and this also has a really cool sandy beach. The walk should be about two miles out. You're going to be hitting the top of Morse Mountain and then uh, heading down to the beach. Uh, oh look, the sun! The sun! So uh, let's go check it out and uh, I'm just super excited. I hope we see lots of wildlife today. So I'm actually down in the southern main area for a story and I don't have Oreo with me and that's a good thing because dogs are not allowed on this property. This place is for foot traffic only and there are lease turns and piping plovers that nest here so we need to be very careful of that. They'll be near the beach. The Bates Morse Mountain Conservation Area comprises some 600 acres extending from Sprague River to Morse River. This is a private property that is owned by the Bates Morse Mountain Conservation Corporation. It's a non-profit corporation with members from the St. John family, Bates College, and the general public. So let's go check out the summit before we go to the beach. To the left is a bunch of private homes, so uh, we're just not going to go over there at all. Seawall Beach supports one of the largest concentrations of migrating shorebirds in Maine. This beach is huge! I don't think I've ever seen so much sand in my life. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Seawall Beach and a portion of the Sprague River Back Dune area are the property of the Small Point Association whose mission is to preserve the wild, unspoiled character of the beach, its ecology, and its endangered species habitat. Restricted area. So we will not go out there, but we will sit here and see if we can see any. Now I am going to head back, same way I came, um, about two miles, and I hiked the whole beach from one side to the other and the endangered species habitat for the piping plover and least tern are on the ends um, and they're roped off and signed and that's by the rivers on both sides. 